Hey YouTubers, this is Egg Dog Eight coming to you with another important message. Now today's episode of Egg Dog Eight is something that's very, very important to me. Something that I have to get this message out. Something I thought about putting it off, but I say, you know what? I got to talk about this because so many people have been coming up to me, telling me this is a subject that they want me to talk about. To give my thoughts on it. But when I give my thoughts on it. I told them that. You know you have to be careful. Because. I'm the kind of guy. I let the truth be known. About really how men think. And this is a. These are women coming to me. Wanting me to talk about this subject. You know I'm not going to say any names. But these are women who actually. Told me this is a subject. I need to talk about. And. It's a subject I've been seeing and just observing from other people I've watched around my life, you know, from co-workers to friends to family, and they have all said, hey, could you talk about this subject? And it's about basically men in their lives that have took off, ran. You know, men that have run away, that have said, you know what, I can't deal with this relationship, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. And the women are stuck there and they just, they, they, they just get bitter and they like, man, you know what, there's no good men out there. Why do men do this? Run. And I'm here to tell you why. Do I know why? Yes, I know why. And not just me. There are men who know why. Who keep it a secret. Keep it hush. But I'm not going to keep it hush. Because I have a vlog here. And they've come to me. I told you when you come to me and tell me what you want to talk about. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell it like it is. And I'm going to tell you why men run. There's many reasons. But I'm going to tell you some of them. One reason is they're scared. Scared of responsibility. And let me start off by saying the men that are here sticking it out are the strongest men you ever want to see. Men who stick around, stick it out, take care of their responsibilities are called real men. That's what they're called. But a lot of men run, scared of responsibility. A lot of them, it's just too much pressure for them. You know, the pressures of responsibility can scare men to death. Make them run. Make them take off. Make them give up and just say, I, I just can't, I just can't cope with it. They'll run. They'd rather be homeless and live on the street than stick around and and. and, and be responsible and a lot of the time it could be kids you know maybe he's gotten you pregnant and he's scared he's scared because that old motto kids kill dreams he's probably figuring like man this kid is going to stop me from doing something I've been striving for you know I, I, I want to stay but I just can't it will stop me from doing something maybe I've been striving for. A dream. A dream. This responsibility is going to stop me from reaching my dream. That's why some men run. Plain and simple. Pressures of life. It's just like plumbing. When there's too much pressure in a pipe, it breaks. And that's how a man brain is. Kids. Responsibility of having a relationship with a woman that's there for you. When you know a person is good and they're there for you and you got a family. Usually it's the man's responsibility to step up and take care of their family. And for a lot of men it's just too much. 
It's just too much. They just can't handle it. You're asking a lot for a man to stick around and deal with his responsibilities. That man has to stay there. He has to give up his dreams. He has to probably make less money because he's going to have to be around you and the kids to help you with the baby. So he's going to have less money. His dreams are shot. He's not going to have pretty much a life anymore when his kid's involved. So usually that's the reason. It's that responsibility. Highlight that word. Responsibility. Responsibility kills. Because responsibility to some men, not all of them, not a real man, to a a man that just don't have any kind of strength in him, in here. Responsibility hurts that man. And he runs. He runs away from his... And he thinks he's running away from his problem. But sometimes he run away and it gets worse. Ladies, sometimes when you ask a man to stick by you. Stick by you and your baby. Be there for you. In all aspects. Love, finances... Everything. It's it's too much. Which comes to my next subject also. Men run also because of finances. If a guy got money, he pretty much won't run. He might cheat on you, but he's not going to run. He's going to stay there and handle his, handle his business because he has money. But when you don't have money and you're struggling, you got to go out there and figure out a way to make money for you and your family. That scares the hell out of a man because he, his pride is hurt. He feel like he can't provide. So some men, when they can't provide, they run. Take off. Because the responsibility is too much for them. You know, and usually it happens in young men. But I mean, it can happen with older men also. But young men, it happens a lot because... <clears throat> a lot of them just ain't ready. A lot of them, they may run to the military. You know, some of them are, some of them may run somewhere because they just can't handle the financial responsibility. But remember that word I told you. Remember that word. Financial responsibility. But that word responsibility is still there. But this time it's financial responsibility. And your finances ain't there. And you're looking at your girl and your kid. And they're hungry. And they're looking up and depending on you to help them. And, and, and help them eat and survive. That's the worst feeling you can put in a man. If they can't feed their they, they girl or wife and kids. So to not deal with that situation they run. Run, 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 run. And is it right? No, it's not right. It's cowardly. There's not many real men out there these days, women. If you really want to know, there's not a lot. If you find a real man that's with you, you found a gem. You found a diamond in the rough to find a real man. Because there's not that many ladies. I'm trying to tell you. As much as there is not a lot. And let me tell you also. You know. Some of the real men. Maybe not be your type. You may just want a guy. Who looks good. Who can smoke weed. Who. Who maybe has swag. Who looks good. Their body looks good. They're young. Maybe they have curly hair. Maybe they're mixed. Whatever your preference is, you probably think that's a real man. But sometimes that man will leave you. He'll walk away from you because he don't want their responsibility. He want to live out his dreams. 
He want to fulfill his dreams. And you ain't it. You and your kid or you and his kids ain't it. And you just got that false illusion that that's a real man and they're going to stick by you. But he's scared. Just a scared child. Sometime. And they would take off and leave you. So. And another kind of runner is a player. Plain and simple. You've been played. You got players who actually go around and they just want your goods. They just want what you got in between your legs. That's it. They want what you got in between your legs because once they get it, they're gone. And let me tell you, most women, not all of them, I say about 65%, will give it to the man. If he looks good or some about that guy, they put trust in that guy and they're going to give it up. Then when they give it up, the woman may get pregnant. And you expecting that man to stick around. And a lot of times he don't. He don't. He won't stick around. He'll run. Because it's too much press. He didn't ask for that. Only thing he asked for is what's in between your leg. That's what he asked for. That was his goal. That's what he accomplished. And he got it. So when he got it, that's it. He's done. He's gone. It's sad. And let me tell you, it makes a woman bitter. It makes him so bitter that when good, honest guys come up to him, they just blow him off because they figure that all men are dogs. So it's that angry woman syndrome. They're pissed. So for the next man that comes around, who could be a real man, they get, they're getting so much attitude and walls put up. The wall is so thick, you know, you're just not going to see the good in that man. You're just seeing, oh, he's just trying to get in my pants. So I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to look. I'm going to give him a hard time. That's what you're going to get. So, like I said, that's a, a player is, is another runner. He's just in it just to get what he got to get. And that's your goods. And then he's gone. And then a con man is even worse. A guy who's just would do anything he can to con you out of them draws. He probably has a wife and family at home. And what does he have to do? He has to tell you something like, oh, well, I, you know, my, me and my wife just not getting along, but I love you, baby. I want you. I need you. My wife's not treating me good. I'm about to leave her. I just can't be around her. I got kids too, but I, I see them, you know, every now and then after I leave my wife. But you're the one I want. I care about you. I love you. I've been thinking about you since the first day I saw you. Okay. Now, lines like that. And they get you. And then guess what? They're not leaving their wife. They're not leaving their kids. I'm sorry. If you think that, then come on, man. You're 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 desperate. Don't be like that. You got uh, value yourself more than that. Any man with baggage like that, I'm not saying that sometimes it ain't true that it it, it works. It, it sometimes in situations, it can be hard, but it can happen. I mean, maybe the guy will leave his wife for you. But let me tell you, if he left her, he's going to leave you one day and go for somebody else. That's how con men are. He conned you out of it. Out of them draws. So he can get it. Tell you he's going to leave his wife and kids. Once he get it, he's going to say, oh, I can't leave my wife and kids. What are you talking about? I mean, uh, just, I, I, I just, I, I'm just, it's just too much pressure. I, I, I got to get out of here. I'm out of here. Then you don't hear from the man ever again. That's why they run women. And there's so much more I got to tell you, but I'm going to have another episode on this. But 
this particular one is I only told you those few things, but there's many, many more things to talk about. Egg dog is going to always be there to tell you the truth. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching me. I mean, I love talking to you guys. I love it. Tell me anything you want to talk about. Egg dog is going to come down with a hard, straight from the hip shooter type mentality. I'm going to tell you the truth. All right. Bye-bye. Talk to you later.